This worldwide situation, starting from the COVID-19 pandemic, riots happening in some places in the world very severely, and to racism. We just don't know where to find a safe place anymore, and there is no certainty in this world. Well, if you really think about it, there is nothing certain ever. Pandemics happened a couple of times during the human history, but the difference is we are now living in the 21st century. People had seen so many things in their lives and it turned to be something that they need. Primary, secondary, tertiary needs, you name each one of it. People simply need to be entertained. And not having the chance to socialize with people and meeting family, friends and being able to go outside makes us feel stuck. The absence of having our usual day might be hard to adjust and that's why you really feel like, oh, I'm just inside here and this is making me crazy. The main things you have to keep in mind before doing anything extra to your body and mind is for sure the pillars of life. Have you been sleeping enough lately? Put your body to rest because it needs it. Have you been eating regularly? Maybe twice works for you or maybe three times. Have you been working out regularly? And also, have you been putting your body hydrated, drinking enough water to be able to nourish all your organs and mind. These things need to be done first if you want to do something extra to be able to improve yourself. But if you haven't done this, keep in mind that you have to take all of these first. First thing first is calm down. I understand that this is a very hard situation for mostly everyone in the world, but now let's focus on what is actually going on in your mind. We are in this world full of borders, different regulations here and there. One is more benefited than the others, and some other areas just try to hold on the best as they can. Not everyone in the world has the same resources, unfortunately. Let me take you to a small town, Salatiga, in central Java. You might not be able to see it, but the weather is cool in this part of Indonesia since it sits at the foot of Mount Merbabu and Telomoyo. While walking around, I saw this little boy playing with just mud, sand, and his little cooking kit. He sat there on a small wooden chair, trying to learn and play with very limited resources. Let me mention this again, I am just so grateful to have a bed to sleep, enough food to eat, and a very safe place to stay. And obviously I'm talking here from a privileged point of view. And this hard situation can lead us to different paths. We have so many things that we need to do and also want to do. Maybe you're doing an ongoing project or you have deadlines to do. But in the same time that we spend so much time looking at those information online, starting from the morning, we want to read our morning news and then we watch more videos to be able to get inspired learning something new but don't you realize that we are actually dumping so much information just in a short period of time yes we are living in the 21st century that's why we live that way but don't you realize that our brain is reaching that point of overcapacity we don't even have time to wander and get creative just being on our own without these technologies around us and these numbers keeps increasing and during this very harsh situation we have to be proactive on ourselves because not caring and forgetting is simply not the answer so try to cut down those numbers and just give yourself more time we're all in this together let's support one to the others.
the next thing you have to do is be fully aware and understand if you're feeling any resistance coming from yourself having different thoughts is completely normal very pretty <gasps> maybe you're feeling sad anxious clueless or maybe happy or excited to be able to finish everything today we are all in different mental state try to document them next time maybe writing works for you drawing or maybe recording works for me try to put all the details inside there uh, it's wednesday and then i don't know i slept eight hours but i still feel down so i'm gonna go for a walk and let's see it is around 7 45 in the morning and then it's so pretty outside uh, i'm just trying to breathe as much fresh air It will really help you understand what, why are these thoughts keeps popping up in my mind. Maybe this is just a one day thing or maybe these thoughts keeps passing by in my mind and I'm just busy thinking about it. Get your mind open to be able to perceive and understand why are these things keeping me stuck inside here. Try to do that. Try to document more and then you'll be able to alter these problems better. Having to worry about something, being pessimistic, hopeless, desperate, us humans face it all the time. What's working before might not work now. We just have to accept it deep inside the mind. It is so easy to say, but hard to do indeed. But the question is, are you pushing them away? Because ignoring these problems will just make it worse, unfortunately. It will just come back again and become bigger. Experiencing this feeling of anxious or sad is very distracting. You don't even know that you will be able to finish the day and cope with these feelings. Remember, we are living in the present. Seek that discomfort instead. Acknowledge it and understand when these thoughts come again how to really calm it down. And be aware if these feelings come pass by your mind again, you already know and be able to control it better. You should really accept it with compassion. And this is a stage of life that everyone is facing through. You can't really expect that everything will be flawless as you want it. These slow days come and go and rushing to be able to find a solution to a problem is not always the best thing to, to do. And the real challenge is really understanding deeply what are these thoughts actually means to you. Why am I feeling that way? And you can actually seek this information outside there from searching, reading more books, and asking from someone who's actually more experienced. For example, your parents or maybe your friends. And you should always communicate it and try your best on catching these feelings and control it better. When you feel that you are not doing enough, Remember that time and effort is not a one-day thing. Everything takes time. One can learn faster than the others and you just have to accept that and go with your own pace. Comparing yourself to someone is not a healthy thing to do. You will just be envious and comparing yourself to someone better. Each person has their own experience and they stand where they are because of their past actions. You just don't know how much time and effort they spent on to be able to be great on doing something. You just have to feel and encourage yourself and do the best on what you're passionate to. I wouldn't be able to make these videos four years ago because I was just too scared on doing it. Never feel discouraged if it doesn't give you anything now. Happy New Year! <laughs> Yay! You just don't know what will happen in the future as long as you're pushing 
yourself to do your best you did your part maybe things doesn't go as planned but it's better trying than fail rather than not trying at all everyone is born different you just have to appreciate it and embrace it on doing the things that you're passionate to so what to do now just believe that good opportunities are coming for you as long as you're seeking for it you just won't know what's underneath all those hard work that you put good things will come sooner or later give yourself some space because you definitely need it being reactive won't help and it will just make things worse try to put this word in mind action driven instead and don't you remember when you were younger that you thought that adults have everything all sold out in their life but you know what? Adults are figuring things out every day and learning needs to be a lifetime thing. So stop dismissing yourself. Stop saying, oh, I'm ugly. I am not smart. I'm not good enough on what I'm doing. You're just being who you are and putting your best effort on something. And you should stop judging someone because you just don't know what have they've been through it is a long process and you just have to accept it and be better on yourself thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate your time I hope you learned something from this one please let me know in the comments down below if you're feeling stuck or maybe you feel inspired during this hard time I was feeling so down before but I tried to call my friends and talk with my family and I felt better don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button and I'll see you next week